Who are you? My name is Kawana Shannon. I am a mother, director, activist, um, healer, all of those good things. Uh, I wear many, many hats. Okay. So what does it mean to be a living legend? For me, to be a living legend means you live in your own truth, right? So you find what pumps you, what makes you, what motivates you, and you execute that, right? So what, what motivates me is my five sons, um, rights for women, being able to be comfortable in the skin that you're in, the hair that you wear, the clothes that you wear, and things of that nature. I think when you embody yourself as an individual, it allows you to trailblaze for other people. So I just think being a living legend just allows you to be at peace with yourself, but motivate others to do what it is that they want to do in life also. You touched on something, uh, being a woman. Yeah. Who taught you how to be a woman? My mother, Claudia Newton, um, taught me how to be a woman in um, all aspects that a woman is, right? Um, drive, determination, um, uh, confidence, um, being being comfortable with who you are um not so much want to use the word of knowing your place but how to be a powerful woman but also a soft woman for whoever your partner is right um because we're in into uh, into um different intersexual or different type of relationships where it allows you to um be soft or to be strong um she taught you to speak speak my mind right but to speak it where you get a results right she used to always say, don't, don't be loud and not saying nothing. Don't be loud as in the room and you don't know what you're talking about. So to speak when you need to speak, um, to embody just essence and epitome of, of hard work and drive um, in a different sense. Because my mother did not work until we were all in school. But that whole homemaker um, and how she taught us how to cook and how to communicate, how to be strong women. I have two other sisters, how to communicate with each other, how to have open dialogue, how to solve problems, those type of things she really instilled in me. What was one of your proudest moments? Proudest moments. This is gonna be a weird proudest moment to some people. My proudest moment was when I had my first son. Why does that seem weird? Cause I was a teen, right? Um, and that would seem contradictory to what I do in life, right? I'm a teen uh, mother, but yet I'm an adult fighting, fighting for women's rights to be able to choose what it is that they want to do with their bodies if this situation was to occur. But the reason why that's my proudest moment is because the decision that I made to carry the term and to mother um, brought out different aspects in me. This 22 year old, soon to be 20 year old, 23 year old has taught me so much in life um how to be consistent if there's something about being consistent in life when you're not consistent in things you wonder why um you you trouble you, you fall over things and you make a lot of mistakes um because you're not consistent but that that little boy taught me to be consistent how to love how to um have determination and looking at him it just made me want to do more want to be more and also i was proud that i was a, a, a teen mother and i finished school on time i finished um in the college prep program um i went on to do other things and i didn't let that hinder me um so that will always be my proudest moment it's the day i had my firstborn son so then what have been like one of your biggest challenges and how did you overcome that biggest challenge my biggest challenge was when i went through a divorce you would think that um, I was married for 15 years, right? And you're used to certain things in life. Um, and overcoming a divorce also taught my children how a strong black woman continues to strive. Because sometimes in marriages, um, sometimes the, the man in this aspect does a lot of the working and do the providing and things to this nature. Um, they didn't see their mama miss a beat. And so it therefore is, is taught, it taught them and me uh, resilience, um, how to dig deep into who I was as an individual. Because sometimes you get hidden into other people's shadow. Um, and that I over, 
overcame and and conquered and it actually made me dig deeper into other things that I loved um, fashion and and jewelry and just open you know trying to get businesses going and counseling and things of this nature because then I all of a sudden had time to look at me as an individual do I want people to get divorced no I want your marriages to be great but if you ever find yourself in a hardship like that and you get the opportunity to look yourself in the mirror and see what completely makes you yourself happy as a woman, you dig deeper into your pride um, and find things that exude you as a woman and as a person and cause you to go after goals like never before because then you're truly focused on you. So when I came into your office, I noticed that you had this uh, poem to the right of me. Still I rise? Yes. One of the questions is actually, what is your favorite quote or scripture? Ah, uh, my favorite scripture. Do not get weary in well-doing. You can find it in Galatians. That scripture alone has caused me to move and keep going in the worst of times, right? Your worst of times is not everybody living in their car. Your worst of times is not everybody completely struggling from check to check. Your worst of time is when you're looking in the mirror and you're trying to figure out what do I do next? What is my purpose? Your worst of time can be when your children are having bad times. You're trying to figure out how to reach them when you're fighting the state of Missouri, trying to make uh, laws better for women. And it's something about not giving up. You get knocked down, you get knocked down, but it's something about not giving up and not getting weary and worn and depressed while you know you're doing good work. You know, and a lot of times you get wearied and weary when you're doing your best work. And so that is my favorite scripture of all times. Um, and, and I love it. So my last question is, how do you want to be remembered? <laughs> how do I want to be rem remembered? I would love to be remembered as, as the person that never gave up, never accepted anything just handed to me. I want people to say, Kawana didn't play that. She, she would go get what she need she will she would take what she need in in a great way and she taught people to do the same i always want people to remember me as as being supportive and loving um i just don't believe that you should have to settle for anything in life i, I just don't i think that you can always find a way to persevere through anything that is holding you down i teach that to my children I teach that to myself and I remind myself daily um, and I want to be remembered as that person that people say my name and they say she prayed for me she fought for me she held my hand she kept it going I, I consider myself to be a big supporter of people because I love people um, and I want people to be able to be great supporters of themselves so I want to be remembered as that much anything else you just want to add uh, not really okay. I guess uh, don't give up on you. <laughs> That's Girl, a great you one. give up on you. Don't you give up on you.